Uh, hi students, uh, welcome. We have another session and today we'll be checking the basic mathematics uh, format for, for, for students. Uh, we, we know that actually for candidates students, knowing what is going to come from uh, exams is so really important uh, because you do preparation according to uh, the nature of the exam you'll be doing. So for mathematics, uh, uh, basic mathematics from for uh, the exam format is based on 2019 format issued by National Examination Council of Tanzania NECTA. It is also based on 2005 basic mathematics syllabus for ordinary secondary education. There is no change in the examination rubric, objectives, content and competences. So general objectives, the examination will test the extent to which candidates can solve practical mathematical problems in daily life. Also, uh, we test actually how can they supply mathematical concept in interpreting situations, interpreting, uh, interpreting situations, and also uh, use uh, how can this we use mathematical knowledge, knowledge and techniques uh, in studying mathematics and the related uh, competences. Uh, so general competence is expected actually for all candidates. The examination will test the candidate's ability to think critically and logically in interpreting and solving practical mathematical related problems. Uh, also, uh, candidates are expected to use mathematical concepts to explain and clarify mathematical related problems. Also, uh, Actually, the, the examination will test the candidate's ability to apply mathematical knowledge and techniques in other fields. Examination rubric, there will be one uh, three-hour paper, so the exam will be uh, actually a three-hour paper. The paper will consist of section A and section B with total of 14 questions. So total questions in the exam uh, will be 14 questions, uh, dear students. The candidate will be required to answer all questions which will weigh 100 marks. So the exam will be having two sections, section A and section B. Section A will consist of 10 short answer questions and section B uh, will actually carry four questions but we have to understand first that these ten questions each question is carrying each question is carrying 60 marks uh, the section will weight total of 60 marks uh, dear students you go to section B uh, when you go to section B you are going to see that the exam will be having four questions. All those questions are compulsory questions. So a candidate uh, will be obliged actually to answer all four questions uh, from section B. And so section B, as we said, will have four questions. Each question will be carrying 10 marks, the students. Each question will be carrying 10 marks. The candidate will be allowed to use mathematical tables and also they will be used, they will be allowed actually to use non uh, programmable calculators. So it's, it's to the candidate's advantage that they are allowed to use uh, mathematical tables but also non programmable calculators. How uh, will be examination content. So the examination content is on the following uh, topics. Topic of fraction, numbers, decimals and percentages, approximation, exponents and radicals, logarithm, algebra, sets, coordinate geometry, vector geometry, perimeters, congruence, similarity, units, race and variations, ratios, profits and loss, sequence and series, trigonometry, uh, Pythagorean theorem, quadratic equations, linear programming, 
three-dimensional figures, cycles, earth, a sphere, and accounts. So you can see these topics are coming from uh, actually the topics taught from from one uh, from from one to form four. So these topics are topics actually taught throughout the all level uh, academic uh, time, dear yeah, students. And also students actually will be tested on matrices and the transformation, probability, relation, and functions. So coming now to table of uh, specification, uh, we'll be checking now how uh, the exam actually will be set. Uh, question number one will be from which topics? Question number two will be from which topics? So from the table of specification for basic mathematics you can see question number one is on numbers fractions decimals and percentages approximations There's, the question will be coming from either of those topics question number two will be on exponents radicals logarithms question number three will be on sets or probabilities question number four uh, coordinate geometry vectors uh, question number five will be on geometry, perimeters, and areas, congruence, and similarities. Question number six, units, race, and variations. Number seven, ratio, profit, and loss, accounts. Number eight, sequence and series. Number nine, trigonometry and Pythagorean theorem. Number ten, algebra, quadratic equations. Number eleven, statistics, uh, cycles. Number uh, number 12, three-dimensional figures. Number 13, matrices and transformation. 14, linear programming. So these are the 14 questions, both section A and section B. So each student uh, who understand these topics according to their weights in the exams will be able actually to perform well in mathematics. I wish all the best in your exam preparations. Hopefully, you are trying your best to make sure that you are ready for the national exams. Until next time, peace.